Hi everybody, um, welcome to our next YouTube film. Um, we're just going to go through a few, uh, well two scrapbooks actually, we'll go through this one in this film and the other one in my next film. So I've got these out of my loft um, and page one here um, as you can see is the Can't Help Thinking About Me strip advert which is quite rare. Um, the block advert of Can't Help Thinking About Me is a bit more common which took up this sort of room. But this strip advert from Melody Maker, January the 29th, 1966, is quite rare. So that's the original advert for the single. And just turn over a second. These are pretty much in order, <coughs> so hopefully I can talk through them fairly easily. Um, this is NME, and this is weekend of the 4th of October, 1969. And you can see here at the Changes concerts, David Bowie starred alongside all these other people, Humble Pie, Love Sculpture, and lots of other people. And in the same issue of that, <clears throat> um, he's down here. A bit of an ironic headline, actually, saying David wanted five years, and this is about Space Oddity. Um, but ironic that he mentioned five years, even though at that point, obviously, five years wasn't available. And again, this is all original stuff. Um, not photocopies or anything, these are all original articles. So that's quite rare, that one. And um, He's in this issue twice, as I said. <clears throat> Moving on, he gets um, a little bit of a cover, as you can see here, which is Melody Maker, October the 11th, 1969. Um, the article actually isn't very big at all. It's on the opposite page over there, which says, uh, a mixture of Dali 2001 and the Bee Gees. Again, needless to say, it's about space oddity. So that's that again, all original stuff. And this is the one where it starts to get very rare. This is from an American newspaper. It's a music paper and it's called, would you believe, again, ironic really, it's called Changes. And that is the name of the music paper. Uh, this is an interview with Bowie they did and this was in uh, March 1971. Um, and they start by asking, where were you born? You were born in Brixton. And they just really go through his life, in a way. Um, but he, does, he has got some strange responses to some of the questions in this interview. It's a very rare one. Um, can't be many of these around, I wouldn't have thought, these days. Some good pictures of Bowie at the top, as I said, with uh, long hair. So that's that one. And you've got a double-page spread, which is quite good. On this next page... Um, there's three articles. So this first one's from Rolling Stone and David Bowie, question mark, pantomime rock. Again, quite a rare article. I mean, he's still in his hippie phase at this point, as you can see with the long hair, the dress and all that sort of thing. Um, and this is Bowie in, when he was in Los Angeles. So that's that one. Uh, moving along to the second one, why does David Bowie like dressing up in ladies' clothes? It's the next one. A uh, bit of an interview with him as well on that article. He was starting to get more newspaper space now and more coverage as you can see. And the third article over there uh, was at Haddon Hall with his hat on there and uh, why is Bowie feeling butch. And it's all about him breaking his two year silence and coming back with his new album Hunky Dory with as you can see here Ronson, Woody Woodman Z and Trevor Boulder, and they mentioned the spiders from Mars. And he also mentions looking forward to his follow-up album to Hunky Dory, which of course was Ziggy Stardust. So that's that one. <clears throat> Coming a bit more up to date now, this is May 1972, this is Disc Magazine. And we've got the Bent on Success headline. Um, and Bowie now starting to look a little bit like Ziggy. And then he really starts to hit the big time here. This is August 1972, when obviously it's in full swing by then. I always thought this was an interesting headline. Bowie isn't camp, says Bo Sorry, Bolin isn't camp, says Bowie. He's prissy and fey and engrossed in his own image. <laughs> Not very nice, really. Um, this is just one of my scrapbooks, so um, this isn't everything I've got. This is just one. <clears throat> now this one is um, from Sun, Super Starman, um, and everybody wanted his haircut, and of course he had the little anchor there as well, on his face, and you could send off for a David Bowie poster. 
um, and you could win a copy of the Ziggy album as well. So I said, I've had these, all these a long time since they came out. Um, that's quite a rare one now, because most people obviously got rid of the sun as soon as they read it. Um, so quite a rare article, that one. And I've got a poster of him here. Again, this is from 72. Um, but I can't remember which magazine it's from. It's, 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 I just can't remember. Um, and there is <clears throat> stuff on the back of it, actually, as well. But I'll just see if I can turn that right. Just gives a sort of a potted history of Bowie, really, just on those two pages. It's good pictures. That's quite a nice one from 1969. Obviously the hunky-dory cover. And the spiders. <clears throat> These here are um, the Rainbow concerts that he did in August 72. So a review um, of how, he, how the concert went. And the original advert for being live at the Rainbow and the Ziggy album, and obviously some tour dates here as well. Um, that's from Melody Maker, August the 19th, 72, that one. And then we've got two adverts here. One of them is a thank you from David Bowie for sending his Pinups album to number one. I always like that picture of him as well. I haven't I don't think I've seen that reproduced anywhere else apart from on that advert offhand. And then the other one is about his um, Cracked Actor Omnibus documentary. So that's the original advert for that. Then we've got Bowie Returns to the Rainbow on Wednesday the 30th of August. And that's the original advert. And his new single's out as well here, which is... John I'm Only Dancing, and a quick advert at the bottom for all of his albums. This one is September 72, and you can actually win this Ziggy Stardust doll. There was a competition here. Uh, five questions you had to answer about Bowie. And if you drawn out the hat first, then you won this. I'd love to know where that doll is, so if anybody knows where it is, let me know. That would be interesting to know. It's probably not in one piece anymore, but it's out there somewhere, maybe. There's a famous Mick Rock photo there. The man who saved the music world. <clears throat> and it carries on over the page there. Just an old poser. Okay. Then we've got... Can Bowie save New York from boredom? So he's over in New York doing some gigs. And from the reviews at the time, I think he did save him from boredom. <laughs> this one over here is about Bowie being in a row, or his Bowie's management being in a row with the BBC. <clears throat> the BBC didn't like the John Amoney dancing video. There isn't particularly a reason given. It, they just felt it wasn't in the right taste at the time. No idea why. And therefore it wasn't shown on Top of the Pops at that time. And I think from what I remember they put it to a dance group. I think they played John and Only Dancing to some dancers from what I remember. So it was banned. Played later of course, but banned. Um, King of Rock and Rouge. Now I can't remember whether that was from The Sun or The Mirror. But it was just an article about Bowie at the time who was massive of course. And this here is the Rolling Stones cover where he looks very frail. Um, this helped break him into America, actually. So, are you man enough for David Bowie? Um, so, that's quite rare again, 1972. And the accompanying article with that, where, again, he looks very fragile. Um, so, that's about it. But the article does continue on that side. Quite a few pages. I mean, this is obviously a very uh, famous picture. And I think that really talks you through my first scrapbook. I've got a lot of these, so I will be doing more. And thank you very much for watching.